Hi friends. Welcome to BR Max class. Find the derivative of sin x by using first principle. What is first principle of derivative? Derivative of a function f of x is denoted by f dash of x and f dash of x is limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This expression is called first principle of derivative. Now which function derivative you want to find you take that function as f of x. So what is f of x? f of x is sin x. Now what is f of x plus h? x is replaced with x plus h. What is f of x plus h? f of x plus h is sin of replace x with x plus h. Sin of x plus h. Now limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h is sin of x plus h minus f of x is sin x divided by h. And here the formula of trigonometry is required. You know that sin c minus sin d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. Apply the same formula here. Limit h tends to 0 2 cos c plus d by 2 x plus h plus x divided by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 x plus h minus x divided by 2 whole divided by h. If we continue this further, limit h tends to 0, 2 cos, you observe here x plus x is 2x, sin of xx will get cancelled h by 2 whole divided by h. Now if we continue this further, the continuation step can be written like this, limit h tends to 0, 2 cos of 2x plus h by 2 divided by 1 into sin h divided by 2 divided by h. You can observe from the previous step you will get this easily. In limits we have this formula. Based on this formula we can apply the limit according to it. See observe here limit h tends to 0 2 cos 2x plus 2h by 2 into limit h tends to 0 sin h by 2 divided by h. You observe here when I apply the limit it will become 2 cos 2x plus 0 divided by 2 and we know this formula limit x tends to 0 sin ax divided by x equal to a. If you apply same formula here you will get 1 by 2 what is a here 1 by 2 this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and this 2 and in the denominator 2 will get cancelled. What is the remaining? Remaining thing is cos x. So we got that f dash of x is cos x. So what is the conclusion? If f of x is sin x then its derivative is cos x. So from now onwards we take it as a formula derivative of sin x is cos x. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.